lads. Sorry to keep you. I do apologise. <coughs> oh, here's F Troop. Well, I thought it was important that we brought something different to the midfield area. And in the three of them, we've all got different strengths. So I hope that the blend of the three of them will, will give us what we're looking for. Give us that goals, what you need, that brick creativity if you can. Um, I think that's always vitally important. So in, in Lansbury and Berker and, and Connor, then they give us a different look in midfield areas, which I think needed to be addressed. Um, so they've got a little bit of a lot in there. And the one thing that they're all desperate to do is, is to come and play here. It didn't take long for them to agree. And in fact, it was pretty easy. And in the end, um, that's what attracted me to them. They wanted to, to come and play here. They relished the chance of it. And uh, I'm delighted of what we've done so far. We still haven't finished. So uh, watch this space. And you say that you still haven't finished. I know, again, it's difficult to get specifics, but do you have any kind of book that anything you can give us? <laughs> Well, for one, we've got on the go, which is which is close, where it hasn't been mentioned. So we must be doing something OK. It's the first time we've been able to keep our gob shut for a long time. So um, I'm delighted about that. That's made it a bit easier. But there's one very, very close, really. Um, I can't really go into much detail like I can't because he's obviously contracted to another club. But, uh, you know, if we can do one or two bits, I've been delighted with what we've done so far. Um, and I'm, I'm very, very pleased with what we've, we've done. Um, let's hope we can add that little bit extra because we're always greedy as managers. But I think we've been pretty shrewd. You know, we've got people who are young and hungry and desperate to do well, desperate to prove what good players they are. And we're delighted to give them the platform. I think that's important. Now, it seems a while ago now, but you told us after the Preston game, you were a lot more pleased with the continuity of the play and the performance by yeah. the so this week, has it been a case of building on that? And integrating well, the new lads have come in too, you know. The new lads have come in and, and look, it was the best we've played against Preston for an hour. It's the best we've played in my time. So I think that was that was decent. Obviously, then since then, we've brought in three or four new signings who will feature tomorrow. Um, and, it's, and it's whether I, I throw them all in. Um, that's what I get paid for. So let's hope I make the right decision. Of course, we've got a game at Brentford tomorrow night. Mm. It's easy to forget that during all no, the no. service transfer. Yeah. See, they lost to Chelsea at the weekend in the cup. Probably unfair, really, to assess them on yes. the game. Alone. Well, they've done very, very well in the transfer market. They've been very shrewd in what they've achieved. It's a typical championship one where not a great place to go. I'm not, not disrespect to Brentford. Always difficult. Crowd are right on top of you. And over the years, Brentford have proved they're a good side, a very decent championship side. They weren't disgraced at the weekend. Everybody can feel it getting beat off Chelsea. Um, you know, so, as I said, they've, they've bought and traded very, very well. Um, and they've got a very shrewd manager who want to make sure that he turns over Aston Villa. I'm sure of that. So we've got to guard against all those things. And if we're going to do something, we've now got to start addressing away from home because, you know, we've threw the hand grenade a few times in where we, where we haven't done enough. And we have to address that. We have to address it right now, really, if we're going to make a, a, a chance of getting where we want to get to. So, um, a big night for us tomorrow. You mentioned their manager there, Dean Smith, big Villa fan, moved from Warsaw to Brentford mm. in the 2015. Been mm. there quite a while now. But what have you made of the job he's done overall? Well, he's 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 walked in and 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 managed to continue on the good work they've had. Um, he's a very very good lad, Dean, and he's he's a Villa fan, as you say. And got to know him over the years, so he's done a really, really terrific job, as they all have at Brentford. You know, it's one of them success stories. Little small club in the capital, and they've done very, very well. I've bought a couple of players off them in the past. One in particular, Le Beja, was one of my favourite ones I've ever signed. He's got a bad knee injury at the minute, but terrific, terrific boy and terrific talent. Um, so they've done very, very well. And just finally, on the injury front, Mila Yedinat missed last game against Preston. Yeah. Is he okay? Is no, we're going to make sure that we see that he's okay. We want to make sure that that groin injury is either is right, and uh, we think he'd hopefully be ready for the weekend. Hopefully, but we're just going to play it cautiously. Um, 
and see how it goes. And is everyone else? Everybody else, everybody else is okay. Super, thank, thank you. you. Very much for all thank you. Steve, Phil from PA. Morning. 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 It's going to be a hectic 36 hours for you, I guess. How do you sort of well, I've got to, as soon as tomorrow comes, I've got to focus on tomorrow. And thankfully, yeah, I've got the help of Steve and Keith, who've worked tirelessly. Even yesterday, we we must have spent hours on the phone, hours and hours and hours, which is our job. And, uh, you know, we've worked extremely hard over, you know, the, the last few weeks. Um, let's hope there's one or two more that we can bring in. But if we're finished now, then I'm pleased with what we've done. Um, so, yeah, I'll have to concentrate on the game, but I think Keith and Steve are staying behind here anyway, so uh, they can do the stuff if 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 we can't progress anything. I know there's one point you asked you about particularly nice, but you said it was close enough. What, what, some, what position you have? Got nothing to do with you. <laughs> I'll make that one. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. <laughs> ask a silly question, though. I wasn't asked for silly. Um, in terms of players going out, obviously, we don't want to make a lost call that show, but has it been interesting? You know? Well, I haven't heard. I haven't heard from anything. Really, it's up to Ross. It's up to Ross to apologise, admit that he's done wrong, apologise to myself and the team, more importantly, and to everybody involved. And if that happens, then, then he will get on with it. Up until that happens, the ball's in his court. I've had no phone calls on him, you know, so... Unless that changes in 24 hours, that's where we're at.